All right, taking out a Velvet Drive AS2-70CR, a transmission that is about as old as the boat, so 53 years old, 1969, Tartan 37. And it looks nasty and rusty, and it stopped working. Water got into it, and it would not engage in forward anymore. So, there are plenty of videos of how to disengage the shaft, how to get the bolts out. Uh, but what I wanted to post is how to use a little bit of sailing ingenuity and get the transmission out without using a chain hoist, but using the straps and the ropes and the winches that we have available. So we have a strap close to where the transmission goes into the engine. We have a rope that goes through this contraption that we made with a swivel block and going on to a self-tailing winch in the back to be somewhere near the center of gravity for the transmission that can lift it up. But right now that all the bolts are loose, the challenge is going to be to pull the transmission back so that the shaft disengages from the engine. And in order to have that pull back, we have engaged another rope here around the back of the transmission, going up through the lazarette to the second rear self-tailing winch. So let's see how successful this is. All right. So by pulling on the rear of the transmission, and lifting it up and backwards, it released, and then I released the tension, so it came back down by another inch. So now it should, should be fully loose. So now what we're going to do, we're going to use a halyard and attach the buckle to where the rope goes, comes through below the loop and then pull it straight back. And then hopefully this is going to disengage the shaft and pull the transmission backward enough to get it out. So by intermittently pulling and releasing the different tension points, the strap, the middle point, the halyard, and then all the way, the line all the way in the rear, I was able to release it. So now the challenge is to get it back far enough so that the shaft is going to disengage and here we see that we're almost there you can see a nice gap looks all dirty rusty and nasty but that's going to be very different soon but we're almost there half an inch or so to go and the baby's going to be out so one two three four points of different tensions tied to one two three different winches and using a little bit of a swivel pulley. So let's get it the baby out. And the final winning combination was the center line going back to the port rear self tailing winch, the line all the way in the rear on the shaft coupling went to the rear starboard side self tailing winch and the front uh, tensioned uh, strap managed to pull it up and it's finally loose there we go all the way and by applying the 45 degree to the back and applying the straight pull to the front it finally released and voila so sailing and mechanics combined into a good outcome and little by little making sure that the transmission doesn't rip anything um, on its way out uh, we got it at engine level and the only flopping piece is the oil cooling pump which is the thing that failed and let water into the transmission and made it look so miserable but almost there just inch by inch there is no rush three points at the transmission all the time we're pulling it out and i also moved the strap more towards the port side whereas 
it was at the starboard side before so that way I have a different angle and it's going to be easier for it to come out. Voila. All right, fully out. I'm going to attach the halyard so that we can get her on shore. And the final pull that I used to get it out is I put a block right here and I ran a line so that gave me an additional angle. So at that angle there, I had the angle right here at the companion way and then I had the angle through uh, the below down to the rear winches from both sides. So uh, with those four points, I was able to play the lines and get the angles right to get the transmission back and forth and up and out. So mission accomplished and we'll see how this baby will rebuild.